Hey guys, I'm Dwayne. I'm Destiny. I'm Naila. I'm Melody. And this is Real, Real TV. TV. We're here recapping our favorite TV shows. First, we're going to start with... Scandal. So as you guys saw, Huck and Quinn try to do like a new HR and bring in like a new person, Marcus. Exactly. Yeah, he was thing. involved with the, not Trayvon Martin, but the... Uh, the, the dude. It was the black guy who got shot. Exactly. Yeah. At first, he was acting like he didn't want to be a gladiator, but then he hopped on board. So I don't like Marcus. You don't think so? No, I just I feel like he's too too, too much of an activist. Like yeah. he's uh-huh. not mm-hmm. he's not the type of person that is a gladiator. But he helped like revamp the whole image of her at the end of the episode. So she's not like a a whore as they called her. Oh uh, well, yeah. 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 Well. My favorite part was the end where Fitz came and he's like, Olivia, that is woman. You're mine. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. I don't care, so. But I also love. <laughs> <laughs> I also love that they were in uh, Paris. They was in Paris at one point in time. Y'all know how much I love. Paris. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a good look. Jake. Jake and his new friend. Mm-hmm. Oh. Reconnected. So I was like, forget Olivia. I'm about to go back to my old flame. He looked out for her because she had got shot. Yeah, he Did you there. see where Melly wants to impeach Fitz now? Oh yeah, she better calm down. She keeps she it. keeps going back and forth with it. I can't feel ridiculous. And then Sour, if he came back trying to get his Check job, his job back. back, I knew he had that intent all along though. He tried mm-hmm. it. He did. Right. That was good though. Yeah, that's, that's good. So well, I murder though. Yeah. So, okay, the last three episodes have started out with her being murdered. Or not murdered, but somebody tried to kill yeah, her. Yeah, she's bleeding And out. so, this episode, it showed her they took her with an ambulance and everything. And the K-5 and Nate, her the guy she was having an affair with or whatever, mm-hmm. they're the ones I think that did it because they were in a car afterwards. They drove off from the house, okay? But the biggest part of this episode was Nate's wife asking Anne Louise to kill her. Because she has ovarian cancer mm. and she's suffering, yeah. and so she's asking Annalise to do it, but Annalise did not do it. How do you guys feel about that? That was set up. I have that yet to get into the show. I have yet to get into the really? show. Really? Yes. Really? I haven't found the the interest yet. Like it's I so haven't. Good. I'm not completely a part of the TGIT. You know. You have mm. to see how one of her bio is. Her acting is beautiful. Yeah, she is. She's very strong. We gotta support the black women. And at yeah. one point, she was in like a bathtub. She had no makeup on or her weave on. Oh, like they really, she does. They really just let her be natural. Be and then the next scene, she was on it, had her weave, her mm-hmm. eyelashes, and everything. With that purple lipstick. Yeah, that was a new wig, Didn't I think. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was, it was brand really new. Nice. It was really nice. <laughs> yes, and so I think they're trying to kill her. I don't know why they're trying to kill mm-hmm. her, though. So, what do you guys think about those brother and sister they adopted? The incestual. It's not incest stuff. I thought it was. I thought. They're not related. They're related. But okay, but it's the same thing. When you have foster, like, uh, siblings or adopted siblings, you can't. They're not allowed to mess around. That's the way to take them out of this. That's awkward, but it's not. It's a legal issue. Okay. But it's (laughs) legal. It comes with legal issues. I don't know. That's right. Like, fault. Yeah, that's how I know it. Because he's Asian. I don't know. Yeah, she's Asian. He's but like, that's her. The baby would not together. be deformed at all because they are not related. Legal. So. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about Empires. So first it. off, yes. you missed it. So okay. Okay. All right. Okay, sorry, I gotta tell you something. So Andre <laughs> and Rhonda are having a baby. Yes. Yeah, so exciting. And um, Lucia's got kind of mad at Andre because basically, you know, he keeps on trying to get back with Empire because yeah. he's not really that's with the line. Yeah, that's hard. where his heart is. And but he was like, you know, that's cheap that you kind of tried to pull my heartstrings saying mm-hmm. that you're having a baby mm-hmm. when, you know, why would yeah. you use your baby like that? But I mean, and, that appeals to emotion. I mean, you got what you got to do. He's yeah. having a baby? Yeah, it's like, like, I mean, he has no job. Emotions. What emotions he got? No. <laughs> well, he was good whenever he found out that he had uh, killed Vernon. So he took that as he like, He did. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah with him right, him right back in when he found yeah, out. Yeah, he gave him a hundred... No, did y'all hear what he said when he went to um, the car? He said, can I have a word? A second yeah, with my but dad? we're not going to say what he said, but yeah. Yeah, was, like, yeah, but he's it was crazy. He's, I think he's psycho. And um, Lucius bought Apex, so, you know, he controls the radio station and everything now. But that's when, the girl group. yeah, he took up the, uh, Valentina, that's right. her name, Valentina. And then also, as far as Apex, Cookie got took in for like questioning, and I it showed that I guess she really struggled like being in prison. 
So she was having flashbacks, and she basically gave him up, but not really. She lied about it. She said, um, what did she say? It was about the Apex deal. She said that right before he killed Bunky, Bunky was like, don't do Apex. Yeah. Don't do the deal with mm-hmm. Apex. Okay. So, so she still some tea, but like not enough. But not like, really. Okay. Yeah. So she didn't really sell him out. Because I think regardless, even though she hates him, she has, like they have a love-hate relationship for each other. Right. But honestly, no. Not with Lucius. Because I think that he's a narcissist. <laughs> no, I, I think that means he's evil. Crazy. He's evil. He's crazy. He's a he thinks he's above God, and when you think that, I mean, I mean, he's just trying to protect his empire. But the way he goes about it, it's kind of shady. He's crazy. Lion Dynasty, they don't, Dynasty, they don't come up. They are. Lion Dynasty, that's so yes. tacky. Are you serious? But you're that girl. <laughs> that he uh, saw in the bar, she was singing yeah, like, so yeah. okay, she could sing. Okay, she could be on Empire, in the Empire, okay? Okay. Oh, <laughs> we can groom her, she can groom her. Come on. You're a mixtape or something. Well, you also see like the brothers, they're going at it too, Jamal right. and Hakeem. But what about the Raging? It's coming on tonight. Well, you know, I've been waiting for it. I think we all have. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It actually comes on tonight, so next week we'll kind of recap what well, happened tonight. Are. But as far as last season goes, we kind of, of course, she's still struggling with her love life, as always. And she's kind of car accident like that. <laughs> I mean, Sheldon, he's 50 years old. What did she expect? She really expected to have children. Okay, but he didn't even want to live in the same house. That's the thing. He's not trying to really have a domestic partner. He's like, maybe one day along the road, we can live and we can be neighbors. <laughs> what? I, like I think I like it was Sheldon, real like secretive. Like Why neighbors? He's not that cute for her to be. I mean, I think that... It's hard when you're a black woman Girl. and you are a businesswoman. <laughs> Girl, I go for yourself. Men are intimidated, so I guess she's trying to yeah, find right. somebody My that's secure. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> say that. Yeah. But okay, so it ended though with her getting in a car accident. So, um, what's the mm, what's his name? David. David. David and her best friend. Basically, he her like best. Bu- Friend. Yeah, her best friend of me. I don't know. They She's the dirty. They're not friends no more. <laughs> nope. Are you talking about the light skin chick? Yeah, what's that? Who used to have encounters with? Who has yeah. mental issues? Uh, yeah, she, she does because I seen her pop some pills. She yeah, she does. <laughs> I forgot her name. I can't think right now. I don't know, but she's irrelevant. Basically, <laughs> no, sorry. Okay. Ba- I don't like her. I can't, uh-huh. I can't stand her. Basically, what she did is, was real dirty. Lisa? Is it Lisa? Nasty. Yeah, she's in love with a Mary Jane's guy, with That's David, okay. and what? she's having relations with him, basically. Did they not have a relationship before her, him they was, her? It, it don't is. matter. It, it don't matter. It doesn't matter, though. But, I mean, but technically, it was us first. But right? no, listen, listen. No. They explained it. They explained it. Listen. So basically, I guess he had her talk to her first, but she was like, you know, I'm not feeling him. You, I don't like females like that. If you like a dude, if you want to talk to him, just, just tell me. Just but don't be sad, like mad on the side. Oh, look, now she want to go and talk to him. Thing. Come on, you know. And so on the side, you're gonna have relations with him. So basically, back to the point. She overheard this conversation while she was in the car, and she was so stunned. She was I paying attention. If she got in a car, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> she, got a, she got in a car accident. It's so sad because she got distracted. When I was watching, you feel watching, good for her too. You happy for her. She's gonna be her man, gonna like be happy, and then she was like, "Oh my god, he's calling!" Like no, <laughs> like but it was T-bone bad. Just- and basically, from the previews, it looked like baby girl's face She's is messed up. Like, they trying to replace her. Baby, you know, that's but, how you know, makers. stay tuned. We will see next week. We will see next week. And that wraps up Real TV. Or it doesn't. Yeah. Or it didn't. But, but I'm sorry. <laughs> out in hip hop, since we're outing things, um, we try to stay away from the the ratchetness. The ratchet so love and hip hop, they decided to come with this different episode called oh, yeah. Out in Hip Hop. And so basically, it's just dedicated to those of the LB LGBT. Yes, community. And so if you have seen hip hop, you'll see that um, Mouse. He just now came out. From Love and Hip Hop. 
Yeah, yeah Ross for one. Sorry. Which one is it? Not, not from Alicia. Alicia. Yeah, <laughs> not from Alicia. We had to clarify. Yeah, he had a girlfriend of like since high school. Yes, high school. She was so heartbroken. But no, here's the thing. They had been telling her since high school. She no, come on. I knew. She thought they was hating. I saw one video and I knew that's beside the point. The point is that out of hip hop, they they're just bringing awareness to those that who are within the entertainment industry and that you know. Third mile. Like homophobia and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So how do you guys feel about like their special in general as a whole? I think it was good, very informative. People kind of went both ways about it because you still have that kind of religious factor, mm-hmm. like church and... Pastor Brian? Yeah. He was like... <laughs> We have canceling, and then somebody was like, "You said canceling, you making it seem as if like it's a bad thing." Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's the same discussion. Like that's going on universal. They're even yeah. doing that. You see with um, Laverne Cox, which she's a transgender, which is very different. But you see Bruce that um, or Bruce Caitlin. Caitlin. Caitlin Jenner, you know, Caitlyn Jenner. Basically, a lot of people are coming out or transitioning and feeling more comfortable. And really, when you think about it, there's not um, a lot of real roles that I feel like people can identify with where they really build the characters up, you know, that are yeah. uh, trans or gay, lesbian, etc. Well, there is a rapper that who was on there. He got a whole little shebang. He, he got songs. Songs, videos. I don't know nothing about it, but I'll check it out. <laughs> but now we're out. This is Real TV. Bye.